Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this particular video, I will be discussing the latest technical interview experience of Delta X. This interview happened today only, that is on 5th August 2025. So guys, make sure that you are watching each and every question till the end because same question might come in your interview as well. Guys, previously also on this channel Code Bashers, we have made lot of videos regarding Delta X hiring, okay? Whether it is MCQs, whether it is coding question or whether it is interview experience. Okay, so we will keep on making more such videos. Just make sure to hit that like and subscribe button on this channel because lot of videos regarding different different companies I will be posting on this channel. Okay, and if you have any doubts regarding anything, you can always write in the comment section or you can join this Telegram group. It's dedicated for 2025 and 2026 batch students. Okay, the link of this Telegram group you will find in the description box. So now let's start this video. Make sure to hit that like button for motivating me and write in the comment section that what type of videos you want on this channel. Okay, so now let's continue with the video. Okay, so guys, the first question was introduce yourself and guys, any company when you will be giving the interview, the first question will be introduction. In this particular question, you can answer what all things you can include. You can include your educational background, your technical skills, your internships, your projects, your extracurricular activities and any achievements that you have. All these things you can include about your introduction. Okay. And the answer can be in between one or one and a half minutes. Okay. I hope this thing is clear to you. Next question was, we were then given a Google Doc for live coding. One of the question was from the coding round was pasted and I discussed and wrote the approach solution on the doc. Now guys, many of the time you have heard that see in Delta X round 2, that is the coding round, 5 coding questions are asked. Now there are some chances that there are few questions you are not able to solve in the assessment. So same question can be asked from you in the interview. So I have read a lot of interview experiences of Delta X and in many of those interview experiences it was mentioned that the coding question from round 2 was copy pasted and given to me and I was asked to solve. Okay. So make sure to prepare those questions as well before moving ahead. Okay. Next was can you override a private or static method in Java? Explain why or why not? So guys Java C++ or Python. You can pick up any one OOPS language and try to study it and each and every concept for it. Okay, because OOPS DBMS are very important part of your uh, interview. Okay, so first of all, can you override a private or static method? So private methods. Private methods cannot be overridden because they are not visible to the subclass. Simple. Static methods also cannot be overridden because they belong to the class, not the instance. They can be hidden but not truly overwritten. Okay. So I hope this is clear to you. Okay. So uh, can we override private and static methods? Answer is no. Both of them can't be overridden. Okay. Next question is what is the difference between this and super keyword in Java? Provide use cases. So this refers to the current class instance used to access current class variable, method, or a constructor. Example this dot name equal to name. To distinguish between local and instance variable. I hope it's clear to you. Next is super. Super refers to immediate parent class. Used to access parent class methods, variable or constructors. Okay. Example is super. Call parent class instructor. So this refers to the current class variable. Super refers to the parent class variable or methods. I hope this difference is clear to you. If you have not hit that like and subscribe button till now, please do it. Every like and subscribe motivates for making more such videos. Okay, so the next question is explain method overriding and method overloading with the code example. So method overriding is same method signature in the super class and in the subclass that is the parent class and the child class. It achieves runtime polymorphism. So this is the example of overridden class is animal and then class dog extends animal. So there is a, a function called void speak and we have similarly overridden that function in the child class that is void speak. So this is the example of method overriding. It helps in achieving runtime polymorphism. Next is method overloading. Method overloading means same method name but different parameter list in the same class. I hope it's clear in the same class. It helps in achieving the compile time polymorphism. So this is the calculator. This is add and this is also add. But the number of parameters are different. Okay. Or type of parameters are different. So this is what a method overloading is. I hope this is clear to you. 
Okay, so guys, before moving ahead, I would like you to know that on our top mid page of Code Bashers, we have important interview IT subject notes. Now, guys, since Delta X hiring is going on and everyday interviews are happening for your colleges, okay, so these notes can be very much beneficial for your last minute preparation. So, in these particular notes, we have covered all the subjects which are important for your interviews, okay, all the technical subjects. We have C OOPS interview questions, Java OOPS interview questions, Python OOPS interview questions, DBMS queries, we have uh, uh, DPMs questions we have we have SQL queries solved we have coding questions which are very commonly asked in the technical interviews operating system networking machine learning and cloud computing because your projects will be on these subjects okay managerial and HR questions so all these subjects from which the question can be asked from you in the interviews we have covered here okay for every subject in these notes we have a dedicated PDF which contains around 20 to 25 important questions with their answers okay if I will show you let's suppose the Java interview PDF so once you will get these PDFs once you will open the Java PDF you will see we have a proper question given here we have the proper answer how you will have to answer in the interview and wherever possible we have given the code snippet as well so that you have the better understanding of the topic okay similarly if you will open this coding pdf you will see we have a proper question and we have given a proper answer to it code to it okay so every subject that is mentioned here a dedicated pdf is there inside these notes and for every subject we are covering 20 to 25 important questions with their answers which are very commonly and important for your interviews okay so you can see here it has a rating of 4.2 out of 5 and you can see 2185 2, people have already bought it so a lot of people have been benefited for it so if you think that these notes can be helpful for you the links are in the description box now let's continue with the video next question is what is the difference between abstract class and interface in java and when would you use one of one over the other so answer here is abstract class can have abstract plus concrete methods okay abstract methods are those methods whose method definition is not given to you concrete methods are those methods whose method definition is given to you but interface only abstract methods are present okay and default and static methods are also present but okay i hope it's clear to you abstract class can have instance variables interface can only have public static final constants abstract class single inheritance is allowed multiple inheritance is implemented using the interfaces okay when you will use the abstract class when you want to provide the base functionality with some shared code when you will use an interface when you want to define a contract for unrelated classes i hope comparable and runnable i hope this difference is clear to you very important question as per the interview is concerned next question is what is the difference between clustered and non-clustered indexes? So clustered indexes are sorts and stores the data row physically in the table. Only one cluster index per table is there and it is used for faster for range queries. Okay. Non-cluster indexes store index separately contains pointer to actual data. Can have multiple non-cluster indexes and faster for exact match lookup. So see, again, the, whenever a difference is asked from you in an interview, try to give at least two difference different point okay so you can take the screenshot for it and you can give the answer next question is what are asset properties in database and guys this is a five star question not only for delta x but for any company asset property stands for atomicity consistency isolation and durability all operations of transaction either complete or none okay atomicity meaning is that consistency is data remains in a valid state before and after transaction so if i am sending you 10 rupees your balance will increase by 10 and my balance will decrease by 10 this is what a consistency is isolation is the, the if there are two or more transactions that are happening parallelly so they won't uh, interfere with each other okay i hope this is clear to you durability means once committed changes are permanent even in case of failure okay this is what asset property stand for next question is what are different types of joins in database so there are on the high level there are five joins inner join returns matching row from both tables left join that is returns all the row from left table and the matched row from the right table right join is returns all the row which are common between both the tables and the rows which are present in the right table full join means return all rows when there is a match in either table cross join Again, it re represents a Cartesian product only. Self-join, a table is joined with itself that is known as a self-join. So first four joins are very important. They can be asked from you in the interview. I hope it's clear to you. Now coming to the last question of this video or of this interview was, what are the differences between delete, truncate and drop? Again, a five-star question. Delete 
with delete we can use the where clause okay and we if we want to delete a single row we will use delete truncate will delete all the rows drop will also delete the all the rows plus it will delete the data oh table as well the structure of the table as well it will delete roll back delete can be rolled back truncate cannot be rolled back and drop also cannot be rolled back okay so whenever we call a delete it deletes the row one by one truncate deletes all the row at go at one go drop also delete all the row at one go with the table okay i hope the difference between delete truncate and drop is clear truncate is faster and slowest is delete okay so guys these were all the interview questions which were asked in the delta x interview and these were uh, these interview happened today only so please write in the comment section that do you like such videos regarding delta x and when is your interview or when is your coding round okay in the comment section what type of videos you want to see and just in the uh, in the middle of the video i have told you that on our top mid page of code bashers we have important interview it subject notes okay so you can for your last minute preparation you can consider those notes for your preparation okay and also if you have ever mcq and uh, coding test there is delta x preparation material also that is present on the top mid page all the relevant links i will give you in the description box make sure to like that uh, like the video and subscribe the channel and do join this telegram group it dedicated for 2025 and 2026 batch students okay all discussions are happening here thank you for watching this video